Hey, what's up guys? Steve here, and welcome back to another OMSI 2 video. So today you'll find us here in the lovely Yorkshire counties. So the map itself is based on a fictional map of the UK area of Yorkshire. Um, the spiel for this uh, this map, as you can see here, uh, we are at the um, area of the Peak District, I think it's called. Um, we're back in the Enviro bus, so a nice old uh, favourite kind of bus of ours. But yeah, in terms of this map, as you mentioned, um, the spiel on it is that it's with tight roads and even tighter timetables, the map will challenge even the most experienced OMSI driver. So by that I mean, I get the feeling we're going to be late. We're probably going to be late. The map gives drivers the challenge of assessing corners before navigating them, designed to simulate real life challenges surrounding the UK roads. So let's set up today's route. So today we are doing uh, Route 17 um, from the Peak District, uh, sorry, from Peak District to um, Gainsthorpe, I think it is. Yeah, Gainsthorpe stand. Um, so yeah, as you see there, uh, it's about a 25 minute route. Um, so it's a pretty decent route. So let's set up the front of the bus for today's uh, route. So number 17 and the terminus will be Gainsborough stand C. Perfect. So let's press OK on that one. As you can see there, all the uh, board is lit up. So as you can see, this is in the Coast Hopper livery. So you've got free USB and uh, Wi-Fi on this bus today. Um, I, I'm sure that's probably, yeah. Um, you can see the inside of the bus today. So very blue uh, interior with some nice fake wood on the floor. Um, you can see the bit of the map that we've got loaded in there. And yeah, plenty of stuff to look at inside. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's set up the bus and get it ready for uh, today's route. So, yeah, as mentioned, it's uh, it's quite a reasonable route. So let's um, let's fast forward time a little bit. Uh, I probably should have paid attention to uh, what time we were actually leaving. So let's put on the timetable here. So as you can see, uh, we're supposed to leave at 12:41. So uh, let's forward time a little bit to a couple of minutes beforehand. Or a minute beforehand and then let's forward that so hopefully there may be a few people to get on nope doesn't look like we've got anyone getting on here these people walking down the road maybe they seem to be shuffling like there is uh, like they're getting on board all right let's move this sun blind so we can actually see where we're going uh, are they getting on uh, no nope, doesn't look like it look like they're not walking past so Let's have a look at today's timetable. So, yeah, as mentioned, we start here in the Peak District. Uh, we'll be heading down Seafront Hill, uh, Seafront Station, Promenade, uh, the Taravan Park, uh, Seafront Promenade again, the Pier. Uh, so, right the way down to uh, Gainsborough Stand C, where we'll be ending today's route. So, um, yeah, really enjoying this um, map. Me and back in OMSI 2 again. Um, how are we doing for time? We've got, uh, there we go, that's about time to depart so doesn't look like anyone's uh, getting on board so um, these people gonna gonna come in they look like they're shuffling our way no nope, they're carrying on past all right so let's shut our doors uh, set ourselves up and get ready to go we're all pretty much ready to to depart with all the relevant stuff uh, if we can what have we got uh, no what we're missing gear there we go that's better so obviously yeah, been a few weeks since we were last in omsi forgotten how to drive this bus um but yeah as i said i enjoy this map uh, as i said this is the first of a couple of routes that we'll do because uh you know, it's been quite fun oh pedestrian crossing let's try not to run him over perfect All right yeah so uh quite an injury i practiced this route the other way got a bit of a weird glitch on the other way round where it wouldn't load in the end stop here at the peak district i kind of got halfway there and uh, it, it kind of just ended me with a blank road and nothing else to do sort of thereafter cool. we're talking I'm kidding about these tight roads all right cool there we go um, but yeah, as I say, it's uh, it's quite an interesting route, different challenges as we mentioned. Um, the only regret I've got so far of doing this one is that I've not changed any of these cars. They are probably a little bit un uh, sort of suitable for this time. Um, they're a lot older cars. I wish I'd probably taken some of the cars out of uh, the uh, London um, 
update that we've recently tried uh, try and put some newer cars into this but anyway we'll, we'll worry about that uh, maybe for another video but as you can see going down these little country lanes it's quite a lot of uh, vegetation uh, <laughs> encroaching on the road so it makes it feel a little bit tighter but obviously that's one of the challenges of this particular route and uh, its uniqueness in terms of its sort of uh, geographical uh, benefit all right cool so coming up here for a set, a set of red lights so let's we'll look, foreign police van yeah really should have changed these cars all right so we're taking a left here um i'm i'm really impressed with this map as i say i'm not sure um, when this actual map was produced um, you may well be able to tell me um, in the uh, comments section down below but yeah really in, uh, you know, impressed with the, the, the level of um, uh, different routes and, 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 and you know the, the, the sort of the road routes haven't seen that many glitches in terms of you know passengers walking in the wrong places or cars going the wrong way or anything like that so maybe find that We'll probably find that out now. Now that I said that, we'll probably jinx it, and we're now going to get uh, get something happen on this route. But um, but yeah, generally there. Obviously, there's a few extra bits. I say I think it's one of the new bits, or probably the last update that was done on this was that they added a rail replacement service. So yeah, there's quite a few different routes that we can do. Um, quite a few different uh, different options that we can try. All right, so is this Seafront Hill? Yes, we are. Here we go. So there's a couple of people waiting to get on, so it does look like we're finally going to get some passengers on the uh, on the bus. So let's uh, stop here, uh, open our door, let these people on. Oh, hello. What? Yeah, we've got, we've got voices, so that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Cool, he's getting on. All right, let's go. So, yeah, obviously quite conscious that this is um, going to be a quite a tight... Um, uh, timed route so uh, we can't afford to wait around for anyone if we can get away with it all right coming up to a roundabout here so I've right, got traffic lights and a roundabout so that's pretty good all right so 17 is going right here so let's let's just wait here and then uh, wait for these cars to come around this is the only place I did find any issues with the uh, traffic for some reason they didn't want to obey uh, so what time is the next one there we go that's perfect i think we should be okay we're a couple of minutes uh, what are we 0.7 man so yeah as you can see this is sort of the seafront area got a lot of different buildings obviously the sea itself on the right hand side uh, we do have a route at the uh, or stop at the seafront a couple of times i think on this one because i think we loop around so let's uh, follow it round the roundabout Cool, perfect. So, yeah, first stop uh, is here. So, this is Seafront Station. People are complaining because I've just hit the curb. There we go. Quite a few people to get on. So, the doors. Oh, hang on. Put the handbrake on. There we go. They'll still get on even when the handbrakes and the bus is still rolling. Hi there. Perfect. Everyone on board. Anything coming? No, I think we're okay, so let's pull out. Cool, we don't need no accidents today. Alright, so past the uh, row of example taxis. So the taxis are fairly new. Just everything else in this game is old. Uh, past the arcades. Let's try and smash into anything. Yeah, cool. And then they've got a lifeboat house here. And, yeah, lifeboat station on the right hand side. So you've got, uh, got everything you expect at the seaside. Right. They're still complaining about my driving. Which is where turning that off. They always seem to be complaining more about everything. Right, cool. So lots of people up here. You can see I'm just starting to walk towards the uh, the curb now. Cool. Let's stop here as they're going to jump on. Hopefully put the handbrake on right. There we go. Right, open the doors. Let these people out. Cool. Hello. Oh, they're glitching a little bit. Why, why are they? Oh, no. They're having a bit of a wiggle there all right cool so hopefully that's everyone on yep there we go most people are getting on now cool so let's head on down we're then heading on to i think the next one's the caravan park if i remember rightly i might be wrong cool so one thing that this route does have is there's a weird way that you can't go so basically the road as you carry on here is um is dug up so it's only a single track way that way so it's only coming the return way that you can do on that one 
um, the uh, other route I think you have to go round somewhere so yeah you can see it there just it's all blocked off a little bit got the seawall oh there's the lifeboat station over there so um, yeah you've got uh, got loads of different routes and I suppose in terms of uh, just a little bit of difference in terms of uh, the road being dug up of course let's take a wide swing Right, there we go. So let's go over the speed bumps. Let's try not to do them too fast, otherwise people complain and they're they're complaining. All right, there's another bus coming the other way. The 17 return. All right, so we've got stick to 10 mile now. Oh, we're speeding already. We're doing 15. And yeah, a lot of caravans there on your left. It seems to be just parked on tarmac. It doesn't look like a very good caravan site. This does it? No, the people just sat there. At the side of the road. Yeah, it doesn't look like a very good caravan site. I think I've been to a lot worse, probably, but yeah, they all seem to be parked up pretty close. Alright, so our stop is, I think, straight on. Yeah, our stop is straight on. So hopefully, none of these cars from the right will pull out on us. Uh, no, nope. oh, they're head only, so it's fine. Alright, lots of people walk into the, uh, to the curb now, so let's stop and let these people on. There's quite a few people here. Cool. Right, let's open the doors, people to get off as well, probably angry customers who don't want to stay on the bus anymore. Right, cool. Hey, Mr. Man there's Rolex. Old lady and man. Look, they even got what's that, Burger King? Yeah, look at that. Even got Burger King uh, advertisements. And there's nothing that says holiday more than fast food and caravans. <laughs> anyway, let's um let's carry on round. I think this is a one-way system as we go round for brightly got cars coming the other way so hopefully we don't smash into anything oh my god oh oh Jeez. oh there we go into the curb never mind um yeah let's try not to kill everybody on the bus all right you're driving so badly that passengers want to leave your bus there's a surprise it's not wouldn't be one of my episodes if the people didn't complain so much they want to get off the bus. One day, one day we'll get better at driving buses, I promise. Just not today. Right, cool. Taxi nearly collided with us, but we kind of did all right. All right, we're back out of the caravan park. So, yeah, guys, I hope you are all well and been enjoying um, the nice weather we've had this week. It's been, uh, been really sunny uh, where I am at the moment, so um, some nice weather and uh, almost yeah feels almost like summer but uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, get to enjoy summer this year we're obviously starting to relax lockdown here in the UK I know some countries around the world are not so fortunate so obviously we've been lucky that we have uh, seem to be uh, now declining in numbers of uh, cases and stuff like that so yeah I hope everybody else is uh, is, is doing well and uh, yeah, hope you've been enjoying the videos. We've uh, we've put a few out recently, and yeah, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of people that are uh, new subscribers to the channel. So, for those of you that are new around here, thank you very much for uh, for subscribing, and hope you're enjoying the content so far. All right, cool. So we've got a bit of a wait here while we're at the lights. So just have a look out and see, so you can sort of see the pier and the lifeboat station there, and obviously up that way you've got the car park and that road there that's closed off. So. Yeah, I guess we'll probably have to disappear sort of out the back of the town maybe to uh, uh, to get out of uh, here and back to Gaines, Gainsthorpe. Yeah, Gainsthorpe. Probably should know where I'm going. Right, cool. So lights have gone green. We're going to take a right here. I think we're going to then stop back at the promenade. So this is kind of the route. So from here onwards is where we kind of went in the other direction um, where we did a couple of stops then we headed into the town so I think we're probably going to do the same sort of bit of the route um, as we uh, as we sort of head out of the town I think to say I think we go out the far side um, from the from here on out so let's um, stop here and let some more people on right, cool let's open the door there we go perfect so let's let these people on yeah, cool. Tickets, yeah, fine. Come on. Everyone get on. We're running what we do behind. We're about a minute and a bit behind, so shut the doors. Let's get our move on. 
cool, nothing coming. Oh, that car's gonna stop, maybe. Yeah, gonna stop that's out. There we go, perfect. Only with a minor amount of scraping uh, we managed to get out of there. So let's make sure no one's crossing the, the zebra crossing. We don't wanna mow anyone down today. Back past the lifeboat station and the local arcades or amusements. How can people be complaining about me just driving in a straight line? I, I don't know. I wonder if there's a way of turning off that, turning off the fact that people can uh, complain and uh, moan about my driving. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe I'll have to have a look at that in the uh, settings. It really is quite annoying that, uh, that people don't seem to want to be happy. You're at the seaside. What more could you want? You know, enjoying your holiday. Alright, cool. Everyone's on. So, this is the roundabout where we got stuck the first time round. So, which way are we going? So, we are going right. So, perfect. So, we're going to the town centre from here. Just got to wait for the traffic lights to go green. And I'm pretty sure it's the last exit, or last but one exit, uh, where we are heading out. So, just wait for the cars to go round the roundabout and the lights to go green. Yep, yeah, cool. So, see from here we've done. So, yep, yeah, pretty sure that we're heading off down that way into the, uh, the town centre. Right, cool, lights have gone green. See, look, so our lights have gone green yet. This car's still on the roundabout. I don't understand how that works. Come on, let's go. All right, we're kind of, kind of melting into this car in front. But anyway, All right. So we are in. We're going towards Ingleborough High Street. A. Eh? Let's make sure we stop at point A. Right, let's uh, through here. They're still complaining, and they now want to get off. So they're now moaning that they want to get off again. I don't know why I bother sometimes, really don't know. So we've got the train station on the right here, and we're carrying straight on, so we're following the road round to the left. Yep, so that's Ingleborough. It's trying to mount the curb or hit anything. And we are taking a right, I think, here, yep. Cool, so we're taking a right, make sure there's nothing coming. I don't know if this is one way, but we'll, we'll kind of assume it's not. No, it's not. All right, cool, and then we're heading on here, so it looks like we've got a small traffic jam going on. There's a bus on the right here waiting to get in, so that's the 17A. Uh, and then we've got the number 9 in front of us, so hopefully one of these will start moving, maybe. Uh, so we are going to the far stop by the looks of it. Yeah, far stop. Right, and I'm now looking backwards, that's good. Right, cool. So I don't know what this bus here is doing. We'll just leave him there. We'll sneak ahead of him as we're running a little bit behind. So let's uh, move forward a little bit. People can't get through the barriers and get on the bus. Perfect. Let's uh, open the doors, let people out. As so many of you wanted to get out in such a hurry. Cool. Oh, look, there's a Bentley dealer. Bentley garage or whatever you want to hear. Um, next to what looks like a market. Okay. Um, anyway, it's um, hopefully oh, look, and a Honda dealer there as well. There you go. Look at that. See the uh, the two polar opposites of cars: a luxurious Bentley, and then a Honda. Sorry if anyone drives a Honda. Not not complaining about Hondas, but not exactly Bentley, is it? Anyway, we'll take a left here, and then we're heading into looks like we're heading into the back of Ingleborough. Um, yep. Yeah, so we're going to Ingleborough View. Which I think, if I remember rightly, is either straight on or left past the petrol station. Oh, look, oh, hang on. Let's let this one out. He's gonna. Well, it's kind of fate gone straight over the curb there. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we're going straight over the 17A, which I think is the other way. Um, would have gone right there. I think we're going left because I think the 17A then goes back that way. And we carry it on up this sort of side here. So let's head on up the cobble. Oh! Good. Okay, I'm not sure if we hit him or we were just really close, but we were, we, we may well have done that. But anyway, it's uh, I think that was the 17A going backwards. All right, cool. So we are here at Ingleborough View. We are about two and a bit minutes late, so we're kind of managing. Okay, well, I think we're only what well, we only about 10 minutes into the route, so we're uh, we're doing all right to only be two minutes behind after all of this. Oh, cool. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Right. Cool. So, let's 
head on out of here, try and make up a little bit this time that we're lost. I don't know what the speed limit is down here, so I'm not going to pretend to know exactly, but we'll try and make this time back up. Oh, oh yeah, they're still complaining. Alright, cool. All right, there's another bus coming the other way. Let's try not to smash into that. It's a 17A, I think, again. So there's a lot of 17s running around. Don't know what the uh, timetable is on this one, whether how many they go every 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, but they're kind of there. Alright, cool. We've got Ingleborough Bottom. There we go. So one lady waiting at the bottom. Cool. Is that Ron? There doesn't seem to be anyone. Is there anyone? No, there's a couple of people wanting to get off. Yeah, that's fine. One off, one on. Cool. Uh, and shut door. I didn't pay attention to which way we were going, so which way does the lights, sorry, the map say? Uh, left. Okay, cool. There we go. So let's take a left here. Nice wide swing. We're going past the something food store. And then left again at the end. So left again, yeah, left again. So those two cars are going very slowly right. All right, there's a couple of cars come in, so let's try not to. Oh wow, they're going so slow. Let's um, let's let's leave them there. We'll uh, we'll pull out and uh, yeah, we made that out perfectly in time, without anyone risk of hitting us or driving straight through us. All right, so where are we going at the end? Wait till we get to the arrows and see which way we're supposed to go. I think it's right here, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, yep, yeah, 17, so right. So, yep, yeah, right. So, it seems to be like a dual carriageway kind of uh, junction. Oh, look, that golf's just gone straight through that park car. You know what I was saying about getting, um, not having too many issues with uh, with phasing on this and, uh, and, and how people were... Um, or how the, the cars seem to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, maybe not. I knew we'd find something eventually. <laughs> right, cool. Lights are going green, so let's take a right here. I don't know where the bus is going straight over. Yeah. So it seems to be quite a busy, uh, congested area, that one there. In terms of the amount of routes and crosses routes. Oh my God. But we're back on our uh, dual carriageway, so we'll try and keep an eye on the signs and see which way we're supposed to go, because... Uh, a lot of this seems to be going right here, so towards Asda. Um, so we're going to Old Depot Road. So, yep, going to a right here. All right, cool. So let's just sit here and wait at the lights. While we're waiting, guys, I don't know if you uh, have caught the latest sort of updates for the bus. There was a couple of screenshots that came out and uh, kind of some idea of uh, uh, the new free play mode that was being uh, being designed, so some uh, some new bits. That's on the uh, uh, what did that come out on the, uh, the TML um, Instagram and Facebook and um, Twitter and stuff like that. That was released on that one, so that's looking quite good. Good to see they're doing more updates. Can't wait for the next uh, bank of updates to come out on that one. We'll uh, we'll head back to the bus when the next updates come through and uh, try them out. Obviously, we've got other bits and pieces to do. I know there's. Uh, uh, some more bits to do in uh, in OMSI. We've got some more maps to do, and uh, we're still in uh, bus sim and firm bus. Firm bus, we still haven't tried out much of uh, of the Nether uh, Netherlands DLC, Amsterdam DLC. Um, hello, hi, hi right, everyone's getting on. Cool, we shot it. Right, that road's closed, so hopefully we won't be going down there. No, nope, we're going straight on. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got loads of stuff. I think the next video will probably be a firm bus video. We'll uh, we'll try out uh, another area that we've. Uh, been into so we'll uh, we'll get that out next and then depending on what comes out next we'll probably have either another OMSI video or if the bus has got an update we'll have a bus update by then not much going on in sort of uh, TML uh, sorry in um, tourist bus at the moment so uh, maybe if there's any updates come out on that we'll also try that again at some point uh, but also we've still got bus sim to carry on with bus sim 18 to carry on with sorry and um, and, uh, and some more uh, some routes to do on that one. So, oh, cool. Let's mine the island. Which way are we going? Uh, well, our light's green, so let's uh, let's head on through. So, uh, we are going all other routes. So we're carrying straight on. So let's uh, stop at the old lights. Oh, good. Look, stop just up there on the left. So, as the supermarket says, and as around here is there somewhere? 
Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Right behind us, there we go. Big old Asda and a Shell station. Surely that should be an Asda station. I don't know, anyway. Um, but yeah, so there's also some shops in the background there. So there seems to be uh, a few uh, a few industrial, uh, sorry, a few retail park uh, shops and stuff there as well. So hopefully we're, uh, what are we doing? We're about three minutes uh, behind. So uh, we're kind of running a little bit behind, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll try and minimize that lateness by the time we get to our end so let's head on through these lights now they've gone green cool so how have we got here a couple of people here so if we quickly get these people on there's quite a lot of people that seem to want to get off so let's park up there open the doors let them off all right see you later people cool a couple of people getting on no not very chatty obviously all right cool so that cars stop there to let us out so they've decided to block the junction which is uh, which is always handy right let's go let's let's a tractor there and a farm building on your right and more tractors on your left and i don't know what that is that seems like some sort of railway line or something maybe viaduct on the left anyway let's <laughs> head down i'll let the road sort of splits here so we're going down whereas the other lane goes up very strange um don't know how you would do that in real life i don't know anyway um but yeah as so i've really enjoyed this map i hope you've enjoyed uh, this trip so far god you're still moaning passengers obviously the passengers aren't enjoying it but hopefully you viewers are um we are heading further down where's the next stop i'll just put it on the left so this is farm road two well that's a uh oh, farm road texaco this is farm road two up there oh never mind it's uh, aptly named and well thought out, obviously. They didn't, uh, all right. they didn't worry too much about naming this road. All right, let's go. Cool, so three and a half minutes behind. So we're doing, we're kind of staying around that for the minute. All right, and then we're going, uh, we're going straight on, I think. I'm trying to see my signs. Yep, yeah, going straight on. So let's head straight on down obviously yeah there are lots of routes i think there's four or five routes in this map in total um that you can do including things like the rail replacement route um i think there's even one to the cinema if i recall rightly so yeah we'll definitely try and, uh, and do another route or two on this map uh, there's a few other maps that we've done before that wouldn't you know wouldn't, would be quite nice um to uh, uh, to maybe go back to do different routes and uh, and try again so uh, if there's a favorite route that you guys have got and you uh, you know you want to see uh, see it or it's a map we've already been to and you want to see more routes on that map just stick it in the comment section below and we'll endeavor to uh, to go back to them um, when we've got a free week uh, to get back and uh, and try them out all right so here we are in Grays Thorpe so try and keep to the speed limit don't want to upset the locals Right, so we're going straight on, so I think we're going, no, actually we're going right here, so straight on and then right. Yeah, we're going towards the town centre, so I think we go into Greystorpe first, before we actually get to the bus station, so bus station's kind of at the end. Um, but yeah, I think we do a quick route round um, the actual uh, town itself to, uh, to pick up a few people and drop them off. See here, a lot of waterways, that building in the background seems to be a bit precarious in the uh, middle of all that water but anyway it is what it is um oh hang on we're inside someone's head okay that's a bit weird all right strange sort of view there but anyway someone was obviously sat on top of us oh that sounded wrong <laughs> anyway we were they were sat in our seat there we go let's rephrase that um all right let's wait for these lights to go green we seem to be sitting here for ages but we are uh oh, no someone wants to get off uh 3.2 minutes Come on, I don't want to have to run these lights. Oh no, there we go, they're going green. All right, perfect. The sun's starting to set a little bit. Obviously it's getting towards sort of, or, I don't know, what is it, one o'clock in the game? Yeah, one o'clock. Um, all right, where are we going here? So I think we're going towards, yep, so we're going towards Greythorpes. Uh, sorry, School of Greythorpes. So, bus station use, okay. Probably shouldn't have paid attention to that one. Alright, so we're heading straight across. Obviously, yeah, if we were heading into the 
bus station we would have headed right here oh, quite a few people to get off um, yeah so the bus station is there obviously we've got uh, quite uh, oh look pay attention to the uh, to the traffic lights come on uh, lights have gone green and we hadn't even paid and even noticed cool so I don't think we need that lane we'll uh, take the inside lane for a second uh, I think it goes into one anyway yep yeah, does so it goes into one so we are going right at these lights so please stay green please stay green can't afford to stop no cool so we picked up a little bit of time in between we're only three and a bit minutes uh, late so this is the school I think on the left yep school of Grainsthorpe uh, no one here but there's people we want to get off so let's quickly uh, let these people jump off as they're probably eager to get off and go to school or go to the town or something I don't know right, perfect let's head on through so yeah good so next stop is just wait for the thing to update in the top there is it going to update no obviously not oh there we go Felix Avenue 1 so we're carrying straight on down no, no. Well, I didn't even do anything there, and people are complaining about how badly I'm driving. Anyway, um, I think it stops just up here on the left. Yeah, I think it's just up here on the left. So, um, quite a few people getting ready to get off. Perfect. Right, I think we've only got a couple of stops left, and then we're almost done for today's route. Perfect. Stop. Let's let them off. They're getting off. Yep, yeah, they're getting off. So you can see the difference in terms of sort of the different areas. So we're back now in sort of like a town area. Whereas we've gone from sort of countryside and sort of country lanes and things like that right into sort of the urban elements of um, the, the sort of seafront area and then back into a bit of urban here as we're going into uh, um, into Grainsthorpe. So is there anything coming? No, we're clear that way, clear that way. So let's, uh, let's pull on round. Yeah, yeah, more traffic lights, but we are going. Yeah, we're going straight on. So, uh, as you see, there's another four different routes that go around this way. The uh, different, uh, I think, as I say, pretty sure there was like five or six routes that we could do in this. So, right, cool. Have this cars going? Yep. Yeah. I think, as I say, if we do more of these routes, I think we'll probably end up uh, switching out some of these older cars, try and make them a bit more relevant to uh, modern day, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, pick some newer cars to be driving around, or a bit more UK specific cars for some of them. All right, what's that shop on the right? Yeah, shop's on the right. Oh, okay, well, looks like we're actually heading now back to Grainsthorpe stand, so our final um, arrival, uh, sorry, yeah, final arrival uh, point, um, where we'll be get, letting these people off. So yeah, it looks like we're coming into it now. So yeah, so only buses can turn right into the thing. Yeah, again, you can see another four, bus routes there, the R1, 17 and something, yeah, uh, X19 and 9, you can see, yeah, I think, no, uh, in terms of the map, obviously, you know, obviously has its limitations, we all know that, um, it's definitely um, not perfect, and so I think some of the newer games, um, you know, can do this, I think, in terms of better graphics, but I think in terms of the routes and the, the, the sort of the way that it does it I think obviously is still pretty good at this and the mod, mod ability of it and the fact that you can create new maps and things like that just just great all right cool you stay there Mr. Bus thank you very much all right so we're going to stand C which is just up here on the left so drivers switch off engines at stand C okay I don't know why are we supposed to be saving petrol or diesel who knows all right anyway let's uh stop here put the handbrake on open the doors let people out perfect there we go so as you can see for today's route um, we were doing okay to be fair up until um, the stop at the old depot road um, and from there on in we were just a little bit too late so obviously four minutes or maybe three and a half minutes because some of those are three minutes and 37 were just a little bit too late but yeah so we'll um we'll let these people make their way off the coach they seem to be uh, oh, bus sorry they seem to be uh, seem to be making our own way but yeah as you can see here we're kind of there's a lot of water around I don't know if Yorkshire has this much water but anyway um, I might be wrong um, but yeah definitely uh, seems to be a lot of stagnant water area and uh, rivers and stuff in this particular map all right cool so that is almost everyone off looks like we've got a few people coming in from the top you can sort of see their arms as they are 
poking out. Oh no, he's just walked straight through the front. Oh, they're just walking straight through the front of the bus now. Anyway. Alright guys, so I think that is everyone off. So apart from being a bit late for some of the stops, I think we will uh, we'll call that one a good job done and a good day's work. So guys, if you've uh, enjoyed the video and you've enjoyed the route and you want to see more, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel and you like this kind of content or you like anything else that we've got on the channel please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when new episodes come out um, and as always guys if there's any comments queries or suggestions for uh, future episodes routes or anything like that then please don't put, hesitate to put those in the comment section below as well um, but yeah guys thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye